as you guys can see here, I snapped my button off. I think it's just a bit too cold out here. <clears throat> We've had uh, zero degrees the last few days and uh, wind chills below that. It's in the shed, but I think the plastic just got a little too cold. And when I went to click it, I mean, I can still do it by hand, but when I went to click it, the button there just snapped off. We'll take this bad boy up to the dealer, get the button fixed on it. And uh, yeah, he said I should have it back tomorrow, so it's not a big deal. He said they may even have it done today. Oh, let me leave that down real quick. I see everybody with the sure cans anymore. Uh, gas cans are kind of like one of those things that, I don't know, I don't look to spend a lot of extra money on because you can pick a gas can up anywhere, you know, garage sale, flea market. I can pick them up for a dollar, two dollars, you know, generally, and uh, they're good to go for a while. But uh, I've really been thinking about upgrading to the sure cans this summer. Uh, you guys let me know what you think of them. Uh, I've watched a couple little reviews on them. Uh, I think B&B did one and uh, you know they look awesome. I mean I think uh, you know I think it could be a, a tool that could speed the process of fueling up definitely but uh, you know I just don't know if it justifies the cost of the product but I mean if you guys think it's a good product you know I'll take your word on it and uh, I'll go from there and I'll make my decision about upgrading the gas cans. Thanks fellas. All right, we're gonna run out here. We got some errands to run real quick. We gotta drop the still backpack lower off at the dealer, get the button fixed on it. Uh, I got some tax papers up here for the Skag Cheetah and the fuel receipts. I have to uh, mail to my tax guy, so I'm gonna drop them off at the box and uh, grab a bite to eat. And uh, I gotta go check on a bill. A guy owes me a bill. Really don't wanna go knock on his door. He's been a long time customer, but uh, you know, we're in the January here now. I need to get paid, and if he's not going to pay, uh, you know, I'm either going to have to take legal action or, you know, write it off as a loss on the taxes. So that's that, fellas. Let's get to it. Go ahead and drop this bad boy off. I just dropped the uh, 600 off at the dealer. All right, fellas, that's going to be my day worth of running. I was going to film at the guy's house when I stopped and tried to get the payment. He ended up not answering. And then I thought twice. I thought it would just be a little unprofessional. But uh, I'm going to do one little clip here. I'm going to show you guys the Hall of Fame. They're working on it. They literally tore half the, half the stadium down. to smash that like button guys subscribe button and uh yeah take it easy boys as always keep mowing keep growing keep making money boys i'll talk to you later